pet. That's what you'll It's time! Everyone too good game, but it don't really face me. Oh, the man that ain't mad like Max, the boy that don't like Ace B. And them got whooped and slide on the back, balling like a baby. Oi, oi, welcome to the Pep Talk UK Sports Podcast, the podcast that talks the major boxing and football news from around the globe, real points of view from a real panel, hashtag real talk on Pep Talk. Please subscribe to Pep Talk UK on iTunes and YouTube. Don't forget to like, share and comment. I'm your host Frankie B and we have a special podcast today. Pep Talk boy Shaz attended the Nordic Rumble where Cecilia Breakers fought Clara Swenson. Here's Michael Buffer on the scorecards. To the judges scorecards, Fabian Guggenheim scores at 99-91. Fred Raj Alexi, 99-91. Robin Dobier, 100-91. To 90, all three scores to the winner by unanimous decision. The fighting pride of all Norway and still the undefeated, undisputed women's welterweight champion of the world, the first lady of boxing, Cecilia. So, Cecilia Breakers retained her titles, she got the win. Let's hear from her and her trainer, Jonathan Banks. Good evening, Cecilia. Um, Shouts from Pep Talk UK. Firstly, congratulations on your win tonight. Thank you. It was fantastic. JB, well done. Um, 30 and 0, where are we going from here? What's next? Um, well, I, uh, I would love to... I think there are two things I would love to do next. I would like to fight in my hometown, uh, Bergen. Um, that is something I, it's long overdue. Um, that's a real, real homecoming. And uh, next, I would like to go to, to find a fight uh, outside Norway, to make a show outside Norway. Uh, maybe going to the States. Uh, and, uh, but you know, there are a lot of possibilities out there now, so, so we just have to sit down and, and uh, talk, talk everything through. Um, and you were fighting, obviously, at the Oslo Spectrum. It's not the full homecoming, but how does it feel fighting amongst Norwegians in front of a, a home crowd as such? You know, that is, um, it's unbelievable. I don't even have, um, uh, I, I cannot describe this because uh, this is the second fight at home, being there with, uh, you know, with this unbelievable atmosphere and it is, uh, it's just, that is what, you know, it, it's been a tough training camp, you know, we had, uh, I was a little bit sick and, and, and things, but this is one of the uh, things that just uh, kept me going and just pushing every, every day and uh, giving 100%. Um, Cecilia, in the build-up to the fight, there was a lot of trash talk. Yeah. Um, did it affect you in any way? Or Because from where I was sitting today, you just bossed the fight from start to finish. Was Clara as good as you thought she'd be? Or was it, did you just stick to the game plan and everything was comfortable for you? How, how was it from a fighter's perspective and from JB's perspective? Well, actually, today the biggest fight was against my, myself because after round four I was totally drained. Uh, I did a huge mistake yesterday, took too much weight. And that from fourth round and out, I just was, uh, uh, you know, having a, 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 a inner dialogue with myself, pushing and pushing. And Jonathan did and said exactly what I needed to hear. So I just, that everything went so well tonight. It's. I just, it's all him. <laughs> Jonathan, what was your view on the fight? Um, from a trainer's corner, from your perspective? I thought it went uh, similar to what I thought it was going to be. I, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. Um, 
Once again, I said the press conference the other day, um, Clara's is a top competitor. She's no she's no pushover, no matter how, which way you look at. It. And um, I, she she was she's mad into a challenge for a reason. And I knew it was, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. That's the reason. I um, study and, and study, study, study different boxing things and do certain things in camp. Because I'm looking for, and I told C, I said, I'm looking for the best class season to ever come. I'm looking, I'm, we're preparing for the best one. And that's what we did. And that's the reason she was victorious tonight. Because there's, there's, no, there's no level of underestimation on, on our part at all. This is a, this boxing is the truest story of life is you got one shot, you got one opportunity, and you can't afford to waste it. And I'm very, very, I'm, like, I'm, I'm more happy of tonight than it was if Cecilia would have got a, another second round knockout. Because of what she showed the people, what she showed the boxing world, is that no matter what you throw at me, it's not going to defeat me. You can hit me, and I'm going to hit you back. You can tire me out and I'm not gonna stop. That's the most dangerous fighter in the world, is when you have a fighter that's tired and keep fighting. Most fighters get tired, that's their weakness. Cecilia got tired and you've seen it, it's her strength. And I, I'm happy as I could be for that, for what happened tonight. I thought it was a very beautiful work ethic that she showed and as well as a, this, she showed great sportsmanship and she also showed that she's a true athlete and the true number one pound for pound women's world champion. Fantastic performance tonight. Great work, team. Thank you. Now let's hear from Norwegian fighter Kevin Millers, who watched the big fight in the arena. Pep Talk UK are joined by another one of Norway's fine fighters. Mr. Kevin Milas, how are you doing? Yes, I'm fine. Great, uh, great uh, evening today. You watched the Nordic Rumble. You watched Miss Cecilia Backus against Clara Swenson. What was your take on the fight? Yeah, my take was like uh, Cecilia had uh, totally control uh, from uh, from the beginning, but she w w almost went down uh, one second there by a right hand from uh, Clara, and uh, I was like, whoa. <laughs> So, but she, she made it through and uh, she kept control uh, and it was uh, a win. 35 years old, 30 and know, where does she go from here? Uh, where can she go? Uh, now she can go home to her hometown uh, to make a history there. Uh, and from there maybe she go across the sea to the States. Uh, we'll see what happens. In terms of your fighting career, where are we heading? Uh, right now I just got a new sponsor today, so I will continue my professional uh, my career. Uh, so my next fight uh, hopefully will be before the summertime. Well, we at Pep Talk UK appreciate the time you've given for us. We know it's late, you've got your evening to carry on. We wish you the best of luck. We'll be watching your career and best of luck with your upcoming fights. Thank you very much, sir. Next up is Norwegian cruiserweight Kai Robin Havnar, who was victorious in the bill, stopping his opponent. Pep Talk UK are joined by Kai Robin Havna, a Norwegian fighter cruiserweight who's continued his unbeaten streak. 9-0 now, how are you doing? I'm doing uh, really good now. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm doing the best. First time you're fighting at home, at the Oslo Spectrum, on the Nordic Rumble, how does it feel? Unbelievable, it feels unbelievable. I'm looking forward for, to this day for such a long time now because it was postponed. So uh, I'm, I have this day in my head for so long, it, I can't believe it's over. It was an, an amazing feeling. You stopped your opponent, the opponent threw, threw in the towel. I then saw you applaud, looking at the crowd, smiling at the crowd. Everyone got behind you in your hometown. Yeah, um, I'm uh, really thankful for everybody who is uh, behind me. And uh, that, he, that he gave up, I, it's nothing I can do uh, nothing about. I, I boxed him out, I did what I sh I got an I got a opponent from uh, First Lady and I did my job. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased. Your counterparts today, the other professionals that I fought, the men on the card, they've both lost. You didn't wait for the judges' scorecards, you went and finished the job. Yeah, I thought that in, uh, when I heard they come back, they wasn't happy with the decision. Uh, I haven't seen the fight, but uh, they, they wasn't happy with it. So I thought, okay, the judges are not on, on uh, maybe on the Norwegian side, I don't know, so I'm going to take the fight to him. But still, uh, this was my first eight-rounder, so I have to keep patient, but I was going higher, higher in pace. So I 
I was going to finish him. What's next for you? I'm, next for me, I don't know. That's up to Nisseroland to decide. But uh, I think um, I'm one, I'm one more step uh, till uh, big things. So, uh, but right now, I just want to think about this victory. Congratulations, well done. We at Pep Talk UK in the UK will be watching you, looking at your career, and hopefully we can have you come over and fight there soon. I really will. I will that. So thank you. Lovely, brother. You take care. Thank you. Now let's hear from another fighter who fought on the bill, who lost his fight controversially on the scorecards, Tin Robin Lee Hug, who also was joined by his trainer and former boxer, Trevor Ambrose. Pep Talk UK are joined by a man that shared a ring previously with Arthur Abraham, fought for a title fight, one of Norwegian's finest, Mr. Tim Robin Lee Hug. How are you doing, Tim? Uh, Disappointing, disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, I just had a tough fight against a good opponent, but uh, I won the fight that I lost on a judge's uh, score. One of your fellow countrymen, um, Alexander Hagen, yeah. had a fight, same judges, yeah. and I'll be honest, I've just interviewed him yeah. for the podcast, and he said he questioned the credibility of the judges. Yeah. I had his fight, him winning 6-2, yeah. Well, I had your fight, you winning, with a similar margin, with, and with two, two rounds. I had you ahead. Yeah. I had you ahead, um, and I'm a bit surprised by the decision. But on a more positive note, I know it's a third loss on your on your record. You have had a good knockout ratio. You are a good fighter. Yeah, yeah. You will bounce back from this. And, but I, and I'm young. You're fighting at home. How did it feel to fight at home yeah, for the first time? The audience was uh, amazing, but. Uh, I, I, in some way, after the fight, I didn't feel I was uh, fighting at home because of the judges. It was uh, like it was like fighting in, in Germany. Yeah, fighting in a. That, it, it's a strange result. Yeah. It's a, I, I don't understand it. Now I'm going to bring your trainer in here, a gentleman that people that are boxing pugilists should know, Mr. Trevor Ambrose, who fights or used to fight. Uh, Leicester, based in the UK. How are you doing, sir? Fine, thank you. All good. Um, for the listeners that don't know of your background, tell us a bit about your background, who you fought in the UK. Well, in the olden days, I fought, um, let's have a look, um, Joe Kawasaki, Nicky Piper, Robin Reed, um, Sugar Boy Malenge, yeah, and a few of the top guys. Um, yeah, and the top of the ones. Um, now, you were here with your man in his corner. How do you think the fight went? Listen, I think it was a really tough fight. Um, I don't think it was his best fight, but I thought he'd actually won the fight. And it was it was close. When they started to come out, I thought, OK, if, if they do a draw, I'm going to be disappointed, but I can, I can bite a draw. When they started 79, 73, the score, I just, uh, yeah. Where, where does Tim go from here? Tim, he's, he's still got a big future. He's, he's still got a big future. He's young, he's 24, he's had a setback. It's just where he comes back from this. He's got a great future, and I think his, his character is not going to stop him. He's got a journey, and he'll just have to come back from this. It's boxing. We at Pep Talk UK wish Tim, you and Trevor the best of luck. I'm sure you're going to bounce back from this quickly and we at Pep Talk will be following your career. Best of luck, lads. Thank you very much. Finally, let's hear from a disappointed light heavyweight, Alexander Hagen, whose fight ended in a draw. Pep Talk UK are joined by a Norwegian light heavyweight, Mr. Alexander Hagen, how are you doing, Alex? I'm doing good, thanks. Now, you fought on the Nordic Rumble. You won the undercard where Cecilia Brackers fought um, Clara Swenson. You had a fight against a German opponent. I watched the fight from ringside. I felt you won. What were your views on the fight? <laughs> you know, I, th I think I fought one of my best fights ever. Uh, the only thing I can say I'm a bit disappointed about is that I didn't finish him off in the second round. I had him hurt with the right hand. I followed up, but uh, the bell went, rang and uh, the time went out and uh, you know th that's the only thing I could have done different like stop him or otherwise I think I 
I showcased a lot of my boxing skills. I moved around, made him miss. Uh, I used jab up and down, used feints, countered with right hand. I uh, stood on the inside, did some catch and shoot, <laughs> moved my head, and uh, <clears throat> I think I won the fight clearly. Even, even you know, even uh, his trainers came over to our corner and said, "You won that fight easily." Now it's a controversial decision because the judges awarded <laughs> a draw between you and the German. Um, now this was the first time you fought at home in Norway in Oslo because of the backdrop and boxing not being permitted in Norway. It's the first time you fought in front of your home crowd at the Oslo Spectrum. How did it feel fighting in front of your fans that were shouting "Hagen, Hagen, Hagen" all the way through? You know the whole experience was amazing it was such a dream that came true uh, it was awesome it was, I had so much fun and I just um, I just had fun in the ring and it was uh, uh, the crowd cheered me on and uh, they lifted me up and uh, the atmosphere was electric it was great and uh, I had so much fun but uh, I think the decision just made me with a bitter taste in my mouth because it's you know we we boxers go into the ring and we and when we get out we you know, we take a chance we can become hurt we can maybe we're not the same afterwards it's it's a tough business and I think th at least we can get a like fair decision but I I know this is in Norway but you know all the referees are actually from Germany because we don't have a professional commission here in Norway so they have the German uh, boxer band or whatever it's called. Which, uh, which supervises the whole show and the judges and referees, everybody's German. Um, <clears throat> but even even if the German, you know, they, they're not blind, you know, There's, they know how to score a fight. And <clears throat> I don't know if, if it's because he was going forward, but it's called effective aggressiveness for a reason. You have to go forward and hit the other guy with more punches. But he didn't do that, so I just moved around, made a miss, just a jab, fainted and countered, and I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm see, devastated, I can yeah. See your face. You know, I, I never, you, you know, I've, I've, I've lost two fights before, um, and the, the last fight I lost in Germany, it was, I was, I was given an unfair decision there, but. I knew it was the last time I knew I was in German Germany. I had to like be a bit more convincing to win. Like last time, I had an eight-round fight against Abel Gevo, you know, the guy in Germany, and I think I won maybe four or five rounds. But I know in Germany that's not enough. So I wasn't really that disappointed that I got the loss. But now I knew I won the fight. Well, Alex, they gave I, me told a draw, you, so. I told you my score in that yeah. fight. I had you win that fight. It was an eight round fight. I had you win six clear rounds in there. Yeah. With him possibly winning two. And he, it, that was when he was overly stepping forward. Uh, for me, you're a clear winner. But yeah. unfortunately, that is boxing sometimes. Yeah, it but is. But you will fight, live to fight another day. Yeah, Hopefully, back in front of your home crowd in yeah, Oslo. Yeah, I hope so. And and I, I think everybody enjoyed the fight. It was, it was a, a fantastic fight. fight. It was a fun fight and uh, I think they enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to do it again. But I'm sure you will. I, I will, you know, I will actually, um, I will see if I can do, make a complaint to the judges or referees. And I, I think the the I don't it's, <coughs> it's very difficult. But <coughs> yeah, it's uh, probably, but yeah, I will do what I can. Cool. Change it. Well, Alex, we at Prep Talk UK are grateful that you've given us the time overseas in Oslo to give us an interview. We wish you the best of luck with your career, your future. We will, in the UK, be keeping an eye on your career and we wish you the best of success. Thank you, I appreciate it very much. Thanks. Noise. And that's the end of our Nordic Rumble special. Join us again next week for another Pep Talk UK podcast. Thank you.